turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I pushed myself so much to my limits. It's Disney Detonation coming at you from the Transform Content Fear You Studios in New Jersey, and I'm your host. And it is a vlogger detonation vlog today. Um, it's the, as you can tell by the intro, it's not going to be exclusively exclusively about Mr. Kylo Palo Pile. I'm going to do a clip of him at the front and the end. So if you want your Kylo Palo fill, you watch the first couple of minutes and then skip down to the end if you want. Um, I'm sorry I'm late with my vlog. It, I don't know. People live in this this northeast area, New Jersey, um, uh, New York, uh, uh, Connecticut. It's been cloudy for days and weeks, and if not months. And the sun came out this, the past weekend. And rather than um, cut video and uh, watch YouTube, I did other things. All right, so let me shrink myself. And this is um, a picture I shot. I can't remember. It wasn't Hoboken. and I forget the town. But I thought this was a good background for this week. This is a shot of the Manhattan skyline. Uh, watching across from the Jersey side, across the Hudson. <clears throat> so the first clip is called uh, KP, the Drunken Hypocrite. Now, what I found really hypocritical and hilarious about this is uh, not last week, the week before. Um, oh, my God. If you guys, I don't know about the rest of you, but I, I could barely get through his Icon of the Seas content. It was terrible. And he's still getting 50,000. I, I think even one of his videos got 80,000 views. So. I must be the moron here. So this clip is KP the Drunken Hypocrite. And my initial point was he, he's following his sister around two weeks ago while they went to the Star Wars bar and um, he proceeded to follow uh, his his sister and her friend um, onto the um, the smuggler's run, the, the Millennium Falcon ride, S -s -s walking behind him going, they've had too much jet juice. They've had too much jet juice. And meanwhile, he comes out with this. You know, I think we're like, like the last guests to be leaving too. Seems rather empty. The girls, they had too much jet juice. It's today. It's 4.15. We have 15 minutes to get all aboard. If we don't, I guess we gotta stay here. <laughs> we are peer runners. Pier Let's runners. go. I've never been peer runners before, but they're not gonna leave us here, right? The girls, they had too much jet juice. It's Oh God, watch out. And there is our ship. The one on the left, if you didn't know. <laughs> the girls, they had too much jet juice. It's I mean, think about it. If you miss the boarding for <laughs> Coco K, okay. it's kind of, a, it's, it's, I don't know. Be nice to miss it. The girls, they had too much jet juice. It's On we go. <laughs> on we go back. I come to seas. What an idiot. I think you guys... And on we go. I can't read it. Can you read that to me? The girls, they had too much jet juice. It's oh, I can't read it. Can you read that to me? In here, sometimes just reminds me of come being here in my college program where we would just come here to just drink around the world. Is, was anybody here during those times? Not like I did it a lot, but it's just like... Times have changed. We have grown up. I mean, think about it. If you miss the boarding... <laughs> Coco K. It's kind of a, it's, just, it's, I don't know. <laughs> Be nice to miss it. Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, son. I mean, can you imagine this guy's lecturing us about how he's grown up during the, um, when he was, when he was had, uh, Epcot during New Year's? I mean, it's just like, what the? I mean, how anyone can come into the comment section and support this guy on any level to me is just mind-boggling. I mean, he, he he dedicated a park bench to himself. I mean, like, we could just go on and on and on. It's just amazing. So that leads us into the next clip, uh, Rage Against the Comet Machine, which is um, uh, the, the Wu had this, uh, well, this clip, this vlog, I don't remember how long it was, but I think I just dis distilled it down to like two minutes where he, somebody must have really got under his skin in the comment section, and he talks about it. So, which kind of take uh, you know took me aback a little bit because the guy's been doing this for a long time. I mean, I started watching vlogs in 2015. Um, I ran into him. I watched all his prior vlogs where he was doing, I don't know, like urban ex exploration or whatever the hell it was. And you would think that after all these years that he would have grown a tougher skin, but that doesn't 
seem to be the case. I mean, I have 400 plus subscribers and I'm constantly getting comments and a lot of them, you know, don't make much sense or have any logic to them. I mean, I try to sit here and, and talk to people and have a conversation and I get this is goofy. This is stupid. I mean, it's just nonsense. And I understand that like it, 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 it maybe it's not for you. You don't think it's funny. That's fine. Um, I move on. But if you're going to be a dick and you're going to start creating problems, uh, you know, with other commenters, I'm, I'm going to boot you. So, for example, I'm just going to throw this up real quick. This guy here, this Warriors blew a 3-1 lead, has been commenting in the co uh, has been commenting for the past four weeks prior to the last this last KB video. And I finally like I kept saying he kept saying you're weird there's something wrong with you and I'm like yeah you're right and then finally I'm like I don't know what to tell you if you don't like the content then don't watch I mean that's basically it and then he starts to say this that um, I didn't watch your videos at all so how are you com like what kind of an imbecile is going to sit here and comment on the videos without even watching them and then what really got him booted was he started talking about my daughter. So that was his uh, quote unquote downfall. But how as a thinking human being, are you going to sit there and try to have a discussion with me and tell me my videos suck and I'm a, a weirdo and you didn't even bother to watch them? All right. So let's get into it. And this is what I'm talking about. Like he's got the option of kicking these people out or deleting a comment. And from my understanding, he was with that Daphne girl, which seems to set a lot of people off when he's with her, <clears throat> because from I found out she was um She's an OnlyFans girl, and people are, you know, not, they don't, you know, it's offensive to some people. So I, I, the comments must have been so bad that he shut them off, uh, on, I think, two of his videos. So anyway, so here we go, Rage Against the Comment Machine by Mr. Wu. I have also gotten to the point in this really weird YouTube career, call it a job, call it whatever you want. I mean, I know some of those people say, oh, I should get a real job, whatever that means. But this whatever that means, that means going to work at certain times, uh, you know, working from a nine to five or working for a three to 11, producing something, making something like the people that serve you your coffee. They have jobs. What you are doing is, is not a job. It's like getting out of bed and videotaping yourself, buying disposable cameras at Walgreens is not a job. In, in a roundabout way is how I make income. And it's based on making videos. I do not ask for anything. I don't do any live streams. I don't have any super chat. I request that no one gives me anything ever, and I will never ask for anything. You know, uh this is the same guy that, and I've watched most of his videos. He used to say like and subscribe all the time. He was selling merchandise, so you can't you can't walk it back. Once you go there, you can't say that you're not asking for anything. You're, you know. Other than anybody that enjoys watching, if they like the videos, to continue watching. I don't even ask for people to subscribe. I don't ask people to give a thumbs up. None of that kind of stuff. I'm not asking people to share the videos. If you like the videos and you enjoy watching them, then I really appreciate that we are kindred spirits and we're on the same page. When it comes to you know not even really asking people to do anything or contribute anything other than the time it takes to watch the video. That's asking people to do something, to take the time to watch your videos and sit through the commercials. Yes, which is very appreciated because without that, I would not be able to make the income I am making by viewerships based on the ads. A lot of people ask, how do you, how do you make money? It's not based on, you know, getting money out of anyone. It's coming from the advertiser, which I, I think that is a really good way of looking at it because the content is free so it always does fast. it's that's not a good way of looking at it the reason why people are advertising is because they are watching not the other way around when there are select few who feel as if they have to they have to chime in very very negatively and, and feel like they are owed something and I don't know anyone. I don't know anyone any, anything at this point. You owe everyone everything. Everyone that watches you, you this is how you live you, your entire life. Your income is based upon your channel. So you owe your viewers, your subscribers, everything. All right, I'm just putting that out there. So I'm going to ask for anyone that is not on this wavelength, or maybe possibly does not agree with my sentiments of what I am stating, and feel as if. 
that I should be doing what they feel I need to be doing. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ask to kindly not watch anymore. Unsubscribe, click whatever it is that you have to do to not get anything in your feed, and just pretend I don't exist anymore. I mean, I, I this is what's befuddling to me. So if these people are harassing him in 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 a, in a fashion that's upsetting him, all he has to do there's a there's a function within uh, YouTube where you can just delete that person. All their posts are deleted, and your channel is hidden from him. So you or her, you, they won't be in your algorithm anymore, and you don't have to have this this speech. Yeah, that's it. And again, for those who don't agree, if you don't chime in and aren't opinionated about anything I'm doing from this point on, if you kind of understand what I just said, you know, if you don't make yourself known with your opinions on what I just said and disagree with them, if you just say, you know what, I'm just going to move on with my life and let Adam get along with his life, then I won't know what you're doing and you won't know what I'm doing and we can just part ways. How the hell are you knowing what somebody else is doing who's watching your videos and commenting. The only thing that you know is their comments. You don't know. We're seeing your whole life on display. Like, what are you talking about, man? Because I won't know what you're doing right now in my life and my again this unusual career, if not, you will. It's will not, it's not a career. That I'm just not really concerned with opinions. Well, if you weren't concerned with opinions, you wouldn't have done that. I think it was a 25 or 28 minute vlog about how. These opinions are bothering you. I mean, I think this that was off-putting to a lot of people. I think he pissed a lot of people off with that. Like, personally, I don't really care either way. I mean, like, I, I'll watch it anyway. I mean, it's just most of his content is goofy, we'll see, as we're going to get into later in this vlog. I, I mean, and what I'm doing is goofy. So it's like, I, you know, some of his stuff irritates me, I, and I skip through it, you know? So let's go. So the next clip is called uh, KP vs. Ground. Or not KP, geez, I got KP on the brain, huh? It's Jacob versus uh, Groundhog Day. Now, this guy, this carpetbagger guy went to go see Poxitani Phil in Gobbler's um, Gobbler's Notch. God, whatever. I mean, it, it just and it, he, he, you got to see this because at, at the end of the video, he they put the they put the um, groundhog in this plexiglass cylinder. Where he kisses the glass cylinder, this plexiglass cylinder, and my God, if I if I didn't know any better, he killed the groundhog. I mean, obviously he didn't, but my God, does it look like he killed the groundhog? The groundhog doesn't even look like it's breathing anymore. It's freaking hilarious. All right, so here we go. Uh, Jacob first uh, Groundhog Day. Oh wait a minute! This isn't the line for beer. This is the line for crazy groundhog hats. All right. Hi. Can I get one of the hats? Absolutely. Thank you. Are they all the same size? All right, thank you so much. You're Hi. I mean, you can see I definitely, definitely have a groundhog on uh, on my head there. Hello, children. I bring you love. Yeah, it's a monster. Kill it. Kill it. He's got a little beer there, and he, yeah, it looks works pretty good as a puppet too. If you don't want to wear it on your head, but. Welcome to the inner circle of the Punxsutawney Groundhog oh, Club as they make their happening. annual trek to Gobbler's Knob. I mean, if that's not a sexual innuendo, I don't know what is. Gobbler's knob. A prediction has been made, Mr. President. <laughs> but what this weather did not provide is a shadow or reason to hide. Here we go. Hey, Phil. Phil. Phil, over here. He's in his, like, Pope Mobile, like, container. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? Do you mind if I, <laughs> mind if I jump in here with you, Phil? Hey, Phil. Hey, buddy. Ah, gross, you sick bastard. Oh, babe, wake up. Oh, no, I think Phil's tuckered out. <laughs> He's had enough. He's dead. <laughs> Alright. What the? I think we gotta get out of here. Some more people meet Phil. Bye, Phil. It's still not moving. Getting out of this knob. Maybe it's all gonna be sunny skies from here on out. 
I don't think there's any real good exit strategy. This guy's like a mutant. All right, so the next clip is just the next couple of clips are just going to be satire. Um, so the next clip is called "The Carpet Bagger from the Black Lagoon." So this is another instance where Adam the Woo he's pretending that a monster is coming up from like an aerator in like a like a, a not a river or stream at at um at celebration. Let's just get into it. it says the car the the carpet bagger from the Black Lagoon. Sort of, some sort of monster bubbling up down there. Not really, but it's fun to pretend. Oh, I cry. All right, so let's go to the next clip. It's uh, uh, the Woo meets Swamp Thing. Over this bridge that runs parallel to I-4. Island Village is surrounded by swamps, like a moat of swamps. I mean, most of Florida pretty much is that. And you can almost picture the swamp thing living back in there, right? You are amazing. Oh, swamp thing. <laughs> All right. All right, so the next clip is called uh, the America's Most Unwanted, No Scooting. And by the way, the that Jetson sound that I'm playing behind his uh, his electric pit mobile, is, uh, I stole that from the Troll Patrol. I did get his permission, so don't beat on me too hard. Um, the next clip is, this is, this, is an, this is another instance where I think Adam Lou has lost complete touch with reality. So he's, he's on his scooter, and I'm using the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang um, motor sound to power his scooter as we use the Jetsons uh, spaceship sound to power his um, electric pitmobile. He is at an abandoned motel slash, I don't know, tchotchke store, uh, gift shop that's no longer open. And at the beginning of the video, you'll see he's like, there's something going on on the side. So he goes over there on his scooter and there's 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 what I can see three sheriff's cars, three police officers, and one car looks like it's got another car boxed in. He just he decides to go. And I've met Adam the Woo. I'm six foot two. This guy he towers over me. He's like six four, six five. Could you imagine these guys, these sheriffs? They're either they're doing some sort of police investigation or they're doing some underhanded shit. I don't know. But he goes over there on the scooter. They, and then they like basically like tell him to get lost, and then he gets completely bent out of shape about it to the point where he keeps talking about it. Even at the end of this vlog, I thought this was hilarious. Like no, I mean they could have easily been like you're detained, handcuffed him, thrown him in the back of the car, and let him sit there for as long as they wanted. All right, so here we go. Um, uh, America's most unwanted, no scooting. Notice something's going on here at this former motel around the side, but it seems to see some activity around the, around the side. Let's see what's going. On. I mean, there he goes. He says, there's some activity. The activity is police investigation in progress. I mean, what would compel you to do this? And you can see the cops on the right, the three cars. I'm going to put arrows on them. Three cop cars, three sheriffs. And one... Looks like it's got a car boxed in. Just scooting around. Can't scoot around here. No scooting. No scooting. Right, Robert. Thank you. Sounds good. Thanks. All right. Uh, he gets his his panties in a bunch. I guess I must have missed the no scooting signs out front. I was looking for some signs here that said no scooting, but how are you this clueless? So we got to remember from now on, no scooting allowed back in there. This is a 49-year-old no man. Scooting laws. No scooting. Just remember, some places, no scootering is allowed. They don't allow scootering in some places, even though there's no signage saying that you can't scooter. 
Mm. I mean, what a moron. I, mean, mm. I just couldn't believe it. Okay, so the next clip is called Mental, Mental Case to Society. Now, I thought this was another sign of Mr. Adam the Woo sort of slipping away from us all. He's having a, a conniption fit over parking in Celebration. So Celebration was built, I think, in, what, 1996. And one of the things, one of the things they were promoting at the time was using electric vehicles to, to, to drive around their, you know, the, the town. And they put um, parking spots all over the town for, made for these types of um, golf carts. So what's been happening is these more electric cars are becoming, uh, I don't want to say fashionable, but more people are owning them. And they're, they're regular sized cars. They're not these golf carts. People are taking it upon themselves to park in these parking spots. Obviously, they weren't made for it, but it's an electric car, and the town hasn't caught up to what's going on now. But Adam Lou is not happy about it, and I thought this was great. So here we go. Mental case to society. I could park right here. There's two spots for electric vehicles, but, yeah, the cars always snag them. Sad trombone moment. Sad trombone. All right, I managed to get a spot over here on the post office side of Market Street. Well, can't park in the electric vehicle parking lot. I mean, I guess that is an electric vehicle. It's just, I don't think it's, I think it's supposed to be for the smaller ones. Or maybe I'm wrong. Well, crud. Can't park here either. This minivan's got the spot. Dang it. Yeah, this is definitely an issue down here. This one even has like the sun thing, on, the sun glare thing on their windshield. Like they're going to be there a while, taking up two spots. Oh, Cusky kids! I think this is what they had more in mind when the you got the little stripes down there for the little tiny vehicles that go across. I did find a spot, but this is basically, you know, maybe I'm confused. Maybe you could park any electric vehicle, but this <laughs> is an exact replica of the one I have. I mean, to a T. But maybe a regular electric car could fit in those spots. Hmm. All right, it worked out. There was no regular vehicles, no regular cars parked here. And and look, you can see he's so there's three parking spots or yeah, three for the the small car, or the small uh, uh, golf cart. He parked in the middle, so no regular car could park there. So if he parked to the left or to the right, there'd be space for another regular sized car. But no, I don't know who's got it figured out. This is all right. Let's get let me yeah. where the electric vehicle parking is supposed to be so i got my gym e2 right over here and i like that these signs look exactly like the vehicle that i'm driving that could be me right there that's pretty much like an artistic rendering a stick figure version of myself you know yeah and that artistic uh, stick figure resolution for your uh that's for you uh mr troll patrol okay so the the next clip and this is the last clip is the um the kp mix of the week um I don't know when the next time I'm going to have a vlog out. Um, I'm going to Florida soon. I might try to do something during next week. I can't, I'm not promising anything. Um, and the content that KP was putting out last week was just so bad that there was nothing for me to really um, make a vlog about other than the, the clip at the beginning and this clip at the end. So this clip is called The KP Mix. And I will see you guys shortly. Here we go, come on. You are now entering. The power burst. Wait, wait. Woo! <laughs> Wouldn't expect anything less. Nope. Wouldn't expect anything less. Nope. I, I, I do expect this food to be heightened because we are paying extra. We'll see if that's the case. My thongs are hurting, guys. Never really wear thongs. <laughs> it's hurting my toesies. You're a loser. I'm a loser, really? I'm super hungry, KP. Like, come on, we gotta go. KP? KP, come on. KP. But KP and me, it's okay though. I got this. Okay, we're gonna start out with the, the bar section. Um, technically, you have the drinking package or the refreshment. This is all included. You can just grab and go. They'll charge you if you don't. They know the counts. You can just grab and go. They'll charge you if you don't. They know the counts. I was gonna do the water park too, but I think it was $120 today. There's now three things you can pay for here at Coco Cay. 
Oh, I forgot, just kidding. They have the zip line too and the, the balloon. There's, there's way more opportunities to pay for things. A good appetizer before dinner. Am I a slob? Yeah. Uh, and let me show you a map here of where it is so you can visually see it. Pretty good look at Coco K. <gasps> Idiot. Bye bye. Douche. Yeah. We're not ordinary people. <laughs> We're morons. Your appearance is comical to me. What a stud muffin. Oh, yeah. Icon's gonna charge you a leg and a fork. Whatever that is, I don't know. That's just Kyle. That That's just Kyle. I've been on YouTube for 12 years now. I mean, think about it. If you miss the boarding for Coco K, okay. it's kind of, it's, 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 I don't know. It'd be nice to miss it. First of all, I can't understand. Ridiculous mo and transmission.